Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. After his resurrection, Jesus imparted profound truths to his disciples. In doing greater works, Apostle Oromo Sayi reveals these transformative teachings. Learn the secrets Jesus shared for living a life of extraordinary impact. Discover how to walk in greater works through faith and action. Step into your calling and do greater works in His name, empowering you to live out the teachings of the risen Christ. that we might look upon you. We want to look again. For to whom He showed Himself alive after His person, by many infallible proofs being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Thank you Lord. He wants to raise your hand. So that your former sight can come to you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Some people need to repent in our midst. Give you opportunities that you squandered. And tonight you want to say, Lord, have mercy of me. Have mercy. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus, There are 12 people that came into this meeting. Jesus was beginning to build something intimate with you. He was beginning to take you beyond the common places into the secret chambers of his palaces. But unfortunately, you did not know that the things he was bringing you into were precious things. You trivialized them. And that glory that was forming on your life, it takes time for glory to form. That glory stagnated, began to diminish. And the favor on your life began to diminish also. But part of the reason why he brought you here it's because he wants to restore that glory again. Before I go into all of that, if you are here tonight, you gave your life to Christ some time ago, but what you are today is a strange creature. And you want to come back home and say, Lord, I'm tired of this race of running around in the corners and in darkness. I want to walk in light. If that's what you are saying, and you want to rededicate your life to Him, or you want to give your life to Him, put your left hand on your chest. You want to rededicate your life to him or give your life to him if your left hand is on your chest 
raise your right hand up. Let's deal with that important matter. Can you wave it so that the preacher can see you? Okay, so if you are waving it, stand up from your seat anywhere you are seated and come here. Let us pray together. When you come out, mean business with him, mean business. As you repent, mention the name of that thing that is holding you back and ask him for forgiveness. I am waiting for you. Do not allow Satan to win the argument over your life because he's arguing with you now. At the end of this meeting, the least among us will become as strong as David. I'm waiting for you. Give them space. If you're already in the front, can you begin to talk to Jesus right now? Begin to talk to him. Forget about the person by your side. Just, just monopolize Jesus right now. Monopolize him. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Monopolize him. Tell him. Repent. Let that stronghold over your life be broken. That immorality that you've been pampering, expose it to him. Let his light come upon it. Let him purge it, which is fire. Father, keep coming, keep coming. He's here. It's a night for transformation. God wants to do a walk with you. He wants to do a walk with you. He wants to do a walk. Lord, look upon your people with mercy. Ask him for mercy. Ask him. Ask him. Don't be mute this time. Don't be mute. Forget about your sister that you came with or your brother. You stand alone before his glory. Talk to him. Lord, have mercy on us. We stand before your presence because we are helpless. We are in need of your mercy. We are in need of your help. Many times we have strayed far away. But tonight, we draw near to you. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Have mercy. Wash me with your blood. Wash me of this error, of this sin. Wash me. Talk to him. Talk to him right now. Give me victory over this weakness. I wrestle for victory tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yeah, so the yoke is beginning to break from some of your lives. The Lord is bringing some people out. He's bringing some people out already. He's bringing them out so that the chains can be broken. Father, if there is anyone here chained by the devil, chained by darkness, oh my God, let your mighty hand break that yoke in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose that lady. Loose her. In the name of Jesus. Loose you. In the name of Jesus. That your mighty hand might rest upon them. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Now, I see an anointing. I see someone in the 
among you there's an anointing coming upon that individual God is smuggling an anointing upon your life in the next 17 seconds that anointing will rest to rest upon you Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Yes, yes, it's even coming stronger. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. It's even stronger. See, yet stronger. Thank you, Father. Do we have counselors that can take their details so that they can follow them up? Any any counselors in the building? Yeah. Okay, so. So um listen to me, those of you in front. You are gonna go with go with that brother the one raising his hand he will take you to the counseling room we'll get your details because we need to meet you see you counsel with you one on one on one or uh, in group we need to do that to ensure that what is happening here is consolidated meanwhile you have 15 minutes because there's a miracle service that wants to take place here you have 15 minutes to gather all the information and everything so please go with him can you go with him those of us in the congregation, can you put your hands together for them as they move? Those of you that are left, please don't go back. Oh, is there another way there? Please, this way. This way is preferable. This way. Now, this lady, come. Come. The one that, yeah. Is that? Come, yes. Bring that lady. Come here. Come. Stand here. I want to remove something from you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Take the burden away. Take the yoke away. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, this part of the service will be for like 30 minutes. What we want to do now is to ensure that what is yours, you will receive it. We want to ensure that what is yours will come to you is that okay now so this is how we are going to start you take a moment of time and pray and ask god i want an encounter do not pass me by can you do that for five minutes for five minutes make your own personal request to god right now somebody cry to him cry to him now cry to him now cry to him now Oh, I can't hear your prayer. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now listen. Only a few people prayed. One among the people that prayed is a lady this lady is a prophetic intercessor. You labored for long in prayers and you have not seen the results of the prayers you are praying. And the Lord is increasing the anointing upon your life. It's increasing that anointing upon your life. So, oh, yes, it's even coming stronger. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Coming stronger. Holy Ghost! There's an anointing that is in this building. There's an anointing in this building. 
So now, can you pray now and say, do not pass me by. What I need is an encounter that will expose me, will open me up. Cry to him right now. Cry to him right now. Cry to him right now. Cry to him. Cry to him. some cases we might need to do some deliverance in some cases but what I saw is that those of you in the choir choir can you raise your right hand just your right hand I saw that there are some of you that the Lord wants to equip for serious intercession And he will choose the people that I'm talking about and an anointing will come upon you that will make it will make, it will make prayer easy father in the name of Jesus those ones that you want to raise as intercessors in their midst let your mighty hand descend upon them descend upon them descend upon them descend upon them descend stronger descend stronger descend stronger holy ghost take the hand of somebody close to you and begin to pray for that person and ask the lord concerning that life Tell the Lord, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, that this one will receive an impartation during the course of this conference that will raise his life up, will raise his ministry up. He will receive a blessing that will make it him easy to yield to your spirit. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So fella ha beka korea. So fella is kobemba raka pandele kose. Endoroko santeni. Now. Do we have ushers? Are you an usher? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cannot hear your amen. So if you are in the congregation, just lift your right hand. Lift your right hand. So we will need ushers on Sunday morning. We need a lot of ushers because there are no ushers here. We need we need ushers on Sunday. Morning. All right. Now listen. I want to give you something that I received from the Lord. <laughs> receive something in the next 21 seconds three of you those three people if you can manage your life before the Lord very well 
what will come upon you will grow and become mighty. Father, in the name of Jesus, show me three of them. Show me three of them. Let the anointing come on three of them. Let it come stronger. Let it come stronger. Let it come stronger. Let it come stronger. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. First thing I want to give, which is the last thing before I sit down, there's an anointing that makes ah. Take. have you found the three of them? Bring them to me. Come, let me touch you. So we'll do a Holy Ghost service tomorrow. Holy Ghost service. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. You have not received it now. You have not received it. Uh -huh, now you started receiving it. I see in the spirit an angel of the Lord and this angel is carrying a whitish liquid a whitish liquid this liquid was designed to be used to wash the eyes of men so that they can see in the realm of the spirit don't believe me don't believe me there are 21 of them that God has chosen, marked 21. So the anointing will come on 21 people from my left hand side to my right hand side. Holy Ghost, those ones that you have chosen, okay. And there are two in the choir, there are two up there, there are two in the choir. 21 people. The anointing will come strong. Ushers, ushers, get, get me those 21 people. Let me release something on them. Oh, sister, you come, you come. You are my friend, come. Ushers, help me get those 21 people. There are 21 people in the congregation. There are 21 people in the congregation. No, 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 I won't pray for you. Go, look for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, these ones that you are anointed, you are bringing them into the realm of the seer. Let the anointing come strong, 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 Holy Ghost! Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release grace upon your servant as you increase her. Let her perception, her discernment in the spirit increase also in the name of Jesus. So the hand of God is upon you. The hand of God is upon you. The finger of God is upon you. The anointing is increasing. The anointing is increasing. The hand of God is upon you. The finger of God is upon you. The anointing is increasing. The hand of God is upon you. The finger of God is upon you. a young man that has a teaching ministry 
and the Bible is open, the spirit of revelation will come upon you in 17 seconds. 17 seconds. Holy Ghost! Ushers, help me look for that young man. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's something opening on your life. It's opening. It's opening. It's opening on your life. Grace. Grace. Someone is going to speak in a strange tongue. In a strange tongue. In 14 seconds. The Holy Ghost will take over. Take over. And another trance. Another trance will come. Another trance will come. In 14 seconds. In 14 seconds. eyes the Lord wants to heal someone's sight now the Lord wants to heal someone's sight to use glasses to read your sight is failing and right now he wants to heal your sight. If you have any problem with your sight, lay your hands on your eyes now. Now let's okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every blinding spirit. Blinding spirits be bound in the name of Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. Be bound in the name of Jesus. And come out of the eyes right now in Jesus' name. She's blind. Blinded spirits come out of the eyes now in the name of Jesus. Come out of the eyes now in the name of Jesus. tomorrow but today the eye I'm talking about the healing has taken place now so check your eyes if you notice there is a change if you notice there is a change come come because I know the healing has taken place there's someone 
without your glasses you can't see your sight has been corrected I want to see you someone's eyes have been corrected it's you come come up here now I you used to use these glasses for how long since um, I think 2012 when I started working since 2012 that's how many years now 2012 12 years so so what happened today um, when you said we must put your, our he, our hands I started screaming and then I took off my glasses and now it's not so blurry anymore so you you can see now tomorrow is for healing it's just that the Lord in the place of prayer said he will heal that means he wants to do something with you come come back come down so that you don't get injured now that your eyes have opened I want to ask that your spiritual eyes too yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. now don't 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 weep huh don't weep okay tomorrow is for healing and then you will see meanwhile how many days ago um we went to a village to preach people that were born blind they began to see people that were born deaf they began yes, to hear so don't worry about that yes, tomorrow is for healing but i want to bless you now before i run away oh and for my eyes have seen the king he's a lamb upon the throne who reigns forever Jesus 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 the anointing is is on somebody oh my eyes I've seen the king. He's a lamb upon the throne. Who is Lord? Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your name. Tonight I ask, oh God, that your blessings will come on your people. And I pray for specifically for the ministers of the gospel that are present here today. That you will open up our ministries. You will give us the grace that is required to take this land in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. 
look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him, consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you!